Hello Cougars, today is Friday, May 19th. I'm Sean Montiel. And I'm Esti Alvarez, and you're watching Cougar News Network. Students all around from EPISD come together for the annual Unidos Games. It's a sporting event that promotes inclusion for all students. Reporter D.B. Fulkerson shows us how the games went. Crossing the finish line. Students across El Paso unite for the Unidos Games. The Unidos Games are very special to us. Uh, they give our students uh, the opportunity to compete, uh, some of our special needs students. Franklin hosted the Unidos Games Tuesday, May 16th. It was a packed stadium with competitors and their supporters. It's a really wonderful event, a great opportunity for all of our kids to come out here and do an activity, um, participate in a sport, a competition um, against other students from other campuses. The games kicked off in the morning with elementary schools competing first. It's great to also see our other students, our volunteers coming out here and supporting all of our, our kids. The games continued in the afternoon with middle school and high school students taking part in the event. It's a big event. It gives us the opportunity to show other campuses that we support our special education department and that we are inclusive and we are one team. Franklin students stepped up and helped run the games. We also had a great turnout for student participation for volunteers. Um, Franklin students, we had uh, softball, swimming, volleyball, soccer, NHS, and of course Stuco come out and help out and so it's been a success with that. More than 700 students from across the El Paso School District participated in the UNIDOS Games. This is D.B. Fulkerson reporting. Many people who attended the UNIDOS Games are sporting the official t-shirt designed by student Alexis Guzman. She's a junior here at Franklin. Alexis submitted her t-shirt design through a school contest. The public had the opportunity to purchase the shirt on the Franklin Online Spirit Shop, just ahead of the UNIDOS Games. Our very own Astrid Alvarez shows us how the Cougars organized their very own concert right here at the school. That's right, this semester's guitar concert included a wide variety of music that anyone could enjoy. Bands from our school came together to play their, and showcase their skills. Please don't go away. Music lovers and bands alike gathered on May 4th at the school's theater to host a concert. Music of all genres, from pop to rock, corridos, and even original songs were played. The event was organized by the guitar teacher and music enthusiast, Mr. Adam Scheidlauer. It was meant to be an opportunity for the bands and the community to showcase their music. I think it went great. I was really, really impressed. I think it was a pretty epic concert. Um, it, went, uh, it was full of energy and uh, lots of different styles of music and lots of different participants, so I was very, very happy with it. Local band, Fear of Tradition, is composed of members John Reyes and Aaron Ludwig. They played two original songs to which they felt confident and good about their performance. It was good, it's just we had a different drummer today because our drummer and our third guitarist wasn't here, but we managed and I think we did pretty good. Another band that performed that night was Leave It to Fate, composed of Zayn Elder, Ramon Lacampal, Omar Bustillos, Diego Valdez, and Justin LaBerge. They played a total of three songs that night, Mayonnaise by the Smashing Pumpkins, Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana, and Everlong by the Foo Fighters. That's great. Yeah. Good, good for sure. Good for sure yeah. I feel like I did the best. I don't know, I just like out of my personal like record stuff. Okay. Uh, I, thought, yeah, I thought Omar did the best. Omar did the best in the Omar band. Omar did the best. Yeah, yeah especially. Omar carried tonight. Omar yeah. carried tonight. Mr. Scheidlauer is very proud of all his students who performed. He says it takes a lot of guts to stand on stage. It's a very scary thing to stand on stage and perform, and uh, I think uh, the students uh, lived up to the uh, moment and uh, delivered. And now, enjoy a special clip from one of the highlights of that night's show.
Cougars, if you're interested in showcasing your hidden talents, then stay tuned for the upcoming Spring 2023 Talent Show. Acts from dances, magic, stand-up comedy, and more are welcome. The show will take place on June 2nd at 6.30 p.m. at the FHS Theater. Until then, contact Mike Hernandez to schedule your audition. Acts will be judged by a special guest, and first to third place will be given special prizes. <laughs> The Friends and Dance Department put on its biggest show of the year, Crescendo. It was held on Tuesday, May 2nd, and Wednesday, May 3rd at Coronado High School. All the Franklin dance groups were part of the recital. The show also featured a senior dance to highlight all the seniors who are part of the dance group. The period project continues this year, thanks to an initiative by the Student Council. As Montserrat Perez reports, this is the second year that Stugo has had the project. Hey Cougars, we're back at it. The period project is still on, but there are a few changes that should be made aware of to the students. Student Council has decided to move the peer project to the nurse's office and not in the bathrooms like we did last year. Now we've moved all our products to the nurse's office at both campuses, so we have everything available at the nurses anytime you need to go. The peer project began last year. Zuko began placing baskets full of feminine products in all the girls' restrooms around campus. Products are purchased with Duco funds. Donations are also accepted. Yeah, so we did put up little slips in the girls' bathroom saying that they can take our donations to the Stuco room at any time. The items are also being restocked less frequently. We did have to change it for now. The period project has helped a lot of girls around the school. Yeah. I love the period project. I think it's super handy, super reliable. It helps when you're in like a pinch or something and you kind of need something, but I love it. It's great. If you will want to get involved and help our student council, please purchase or donate any products that you could spare. You can drop your donations off in room West 111. Franklin Senior Anna Dixon is one of two students in all of El Paso County to receive the National Merit Scholarship. Anna is among 2,500 students nationwide selected from a pool of 15,000 finalists. She sits towards the top of her senior class. Anna plans to study engineering and applied physics with a possible minor in computer science. That's all for this week, Cougars. Tune in next week for more news. I'm Astrid Alvarez. And I'm Sean Montiel, and thank you for watching Cougar News Network.